This video describes the operating procedures for the security system. The system has many capabilities. To completely understand all of the system's capabilities may require that you watch this video several times. Everyone who will need to know how to operate the system should take the time to watch this video. Most questions you may have about the system operation can be answered by referring to the appropriate section of the video. Thank you for choosing Brinks Home Security. Hey, hey, what? Brinks Home Security sign. Let's try somewhere else. Congratulations, and thanks for choosing Brinks Home Security Service. Together, you and Brinks Home Security can protect your home and valuables. And And thanks for choosing Brinks Home Security Service. Working together, you and Brinks Home Security can protect your home and valuables and ensure your peace of mind. While the service you purchase from Brinks goes far to protect you, we would like to emphasize two very important points. The first is, never hesitate to call 911 or the emergency number in your area if you need help. The second is, if an alarm ever does sound, don't call Brinks. We'll call you from our National Alarm Monitoring Center, the largest underwriter's laboratories approved alarm center in the country. The Brinks Home Security System is connected to this state-of-the-art facility. At this time, we'd like to show you the components of the system and how to use it, what to do if an alarm sounds, and how to prevent false alarms. The standard package begins with door sensors a siren which will sound in your home, a motion sensor, a keypad where you control your system's many functions, window decals and a yard sign to warn that your home is protected by Brinks, and a master control unit, the brains of your system. The entire system is controlled through your master control unit, which is out of sight and communicates to Brinks monitoring center through your phone line. Additionally, you may have certain optional equipment and features like a smoke and heat detector, which is always monitoring your safety, or a remote panic button. The remote panic button allows you to summon help in an emergency without having to be at the keypad. If you don't have these special features and would like them, or more information, please call Brink's customer service, your local sales representative, or ask your technician as he installs your system. At the time of installation, you specified a four-digit master code that your installer programmed into the system. This number is the key to activating major features of the system. You should keep your master code confidential so you don't compromise the security of the system. Because your master code is a four-digit number, you have literally more than 10,000 possible number combinations to choose from. The system will recognize only your master code and any auxiliary codes you program in. We'll discuss auxiliary codes in a moment. Two important keys in programming your system are the pound and asterisk keys. The pound key is used to enter certain commands, while the asterisk is used to program features like adding or deleting an auxiliary code. The number keys are used to enter the system's codes. When you push a number, you should hear a distinct beep. If you don't, push it more firmly until you do. You should always push the keys slowly and firmly. You can turn the system on in one of two ways. Enter your master code or use the quick arm feature by simply depressing the zero. To turn your system off, simply enter your master code. If you hear a series of short beeps, you've entered an invalid code. Press pound, then zero, to clear the keypad, and then enter the correct code. Clearing the keypad means you've canceled the entry that was just made. If you accidentally set off the alarm and wish to cancel it, simply enter your master code and depress pound, then nine. It's very important that you cancel false alarms this way, as we will discuss later. 
If you cancel an alarm by entering your master code, then pound, then nine, Brinks will not call you back. Instead, your keypad will beep and your siren will sound briefly as soon as the Brinks Monitoring Center receives your cancel signal. Remember, if you cancel the alarm yourself, a Brinks operator will not call to verify the alarm. If you prefer to receive a verification call, simply enter your master code, then wait for Brinks to call. Be prepared to give the operator your code word. Do not attempt to call Brinks. Auxiliary codes are commonly used for babysitters or house guests. You can add or delete auxiliary codes at any time. An auxiliary code will turn the system on and off, but not activate any other functions. You can put in up to six auxiliary codes at any time. Simply press the asterisk, add your master code, then a number one to six, depending on the number of auxiliary codes you've already programmed. Then the four digit auxiliary code you select. To delete an auxiliary code, simply depress the asterisk and enter your master code. Push the number one through six to indicate the auxiliary code to be deleted, and then press the pound, then zero. To verify that the auxiliary code has been deleted, try to use it to turn the system on. You should hear a series of short beeps that indicate an invalid code. Let's take a closer look at the keypad and some other functions you'll perform. First are the emergency buttons. These are always turned on. If you push an emergency button, we will call you to verify the alarm, unless you cancel it. If we are unable to reach you, if you request assistance, or if you do not give your code word, we will dispatch the appropriate agency. However, if you have 911 service in your area and are able to reach a phone, Brinks recommends that you call 911 instead of using the emergency button on the keypad. This normally gives you the fastest access to the emergency agency. This is the indicator light area. The red on light indicates that the system is on and protecting your property. A flashing on light indicates that a delay is in effect. During a delay, you have ample time to lead through a door designated as a primary entry exit. Primary entry exits are those doors you use most often to enter and leave. It's important to use primary entry exits when leaving and returning home. Using other entry exits will cause needless false alarms. After the red light stops flashing, the delay is expired and the system is on. If you're detained and don't leave before the delay period ends. Hello? Hi, Madge. Hang on just a second, okay? You must turn the system off by entering your master code. Look, Madge, I gotta go. If you I don't turn the system body, okay? off and right. then back okay. on, you'll cause a false alarm. After you turn the system on, you can leave during the delay period. When you return home, you must enter your master code or an auxiliary code during the delay countdown to turn the system off. During the countdown, the keypad will buzz to remind you to enter your code. The countdown period is the same length of time as your entry exit delay. The illuminated green ready light means all contact points are secure and the system can be turned on. If the green ready light is blinking, someone has walked in front of the motion you can still turn the system on if the green ready light is blinking. If the light remains off, the system cannot be turned on. If this happens, check all doors and windows with sensors and make sure they're closed. When you get a green light, you can turn the system on. The yellow AC power light means your system is operating on electricity. If the light is off, your system is not getting power. A flashing light indicates your unit is operating on standby battery power. Every Brinks home security system has a backup battery, which enables the system to function for up to four hours if you lose electricity. When power returns, the battery automatically recharges. 
An illuminated trouble light indicates that there may be trouble within the system. To clear the tone, simply depress the pound key and the eight key. Pushing pound, then eight, resets the system. If the system does not reset or the trouble light stays on or is flashing, call Brink's customer service. When the transmit light is on, the system is communicating with Brink's alarm monitoring center, and you will not be able to use your phone. This light should only be on after an alarm has sounded. To turn off all interior motion sensors but leave the exterior protected, press pound, then six, then zero, or pound, then six, and your master code. You should see the bypass light on the keypad go on. Using this feature allows you to move about your home without setting off an alarm, or to allow pets to roam freely when you are not home. Protection in bypassed areas can be restored simply by entering your master code to turn off the system, then enter your master code or zero to turn the system on again. The watch instant light indicates one of two conditions, depending on whether the system is on or off. With the system turned on, you might want to use this feature combined with the bypass feature at night when you're inside and want the siren to sound, and an alarm sent to Brink's monitoring center the instant any door is open. Starting with the system turned off, turn this feature on by pressing pound, then six, then your master code or zero, then pound, then five. Remember, only your protected doors and windows will be armed. To turn the instant feature off, simply enter your master code. When the system is off, it can operate in an on-watch mode. You might want to use this feature just to know someone has opened a door. When someone goes through a door while the system is on watch, you'll hear a beep from the keypad rather than a siren, and no alarm signal will be sent to Brinks. You activate this feature with the system off by pressing pound, then five. You also turn this feature off by pressing pound, then five. When an alarm sounds, you'll hear a loud siren, which lasts for five minutes before automatically shutting off. It's intended to frighten away any intruder. When an alarm does sound, the alarm system automatically takes control of your phone lines and notifies the Brinks Monitoring Center. When we've received an alarm from the system, we'll call your phone number. Remember, don't call Brinks. We'll call you. Hello, this is Brinks Home Security. Can I help you? When the operator calls, you'll need to give us your code word to cancel the alarm. My code word is zebra. Okay. Bye. If your phone is busy, there's no answer, or the correct code word is not given, we'll dispatch emergency assistance. After calling the emergency agency, we'll try to reach one of your emergency contacts to inform them of the alarm. You should instruct your emergency contacts to inform you of these calls. Remember, if the alarm was triggered accidentally, you can enter your master code, then pound, then nine, to cancel the alarm. For more detailed information about your system's functions, consult the user's manual and question and answer pamphlet you received with your system. The vast majority of alarms we receive are false alarms, not real emergencies. You can help prevent these so we can maintain and improve our service by only responding to actual emergencies. It will also enable your local emergency agencies to better respond to genuine emergencies. Keep in mind that some municipalities fine homeowners for unnecessary dispatches. You're responsible for paying false alarm fines. False alarms are easily prevented. One common cause is trying to call Brinks when an alarm sounds. Remember, if your phone is busy, we'll automatically send help. So don't call us, let us call you. If you can, use the cancel feature to stop a false alarm. Just enter your master code, then pound, then nine. 
Make sure everyone in your home knows how to operate the system. And finally, objects such as balloons or a pet moving in front of a motion detector can cause an alarm. If you have a pet, motion detectors can be set to provide the animal an alley that allows it to roam without causing a false alarm. Call Brinks to adjust the system if you acquire a pet after the system is installed. Your contract requires that you pay monitoring charges for two years. The first year, repair service is covered under a limited warranty. After the first year, you'll incur a service charge for repairs to the system unless you purchased an extended service plan. Please read the protective service agreement to understand the exact terms of the warranty and other aspects of your relationship with Brinks Home Security. If you ever need assistance with the service you receive from Brinks, please don't hesitate to call a customer service representative at 1-800-445-0872. It's also easy to get free monitoring service from Brinks. All you have to do is refer a friend, neighbor, or business associate to us. When they have a system installed, they should record your name and account number on their contract, and you'll receive one month's free monitoring service. It's that easy, and there's no limit on the number of referrals you can make. Once again, congratulations on a wise choice for your security system. And thanks for relying on Brinks, a name you can trust. We'd like to conclude with just a couple of reminders. You should keep all your emergency information up to date at all times. Call Brinks Customer Service at 1-800-445-0872 if you need to make changes. Your municipality may require an alarm permit. You're responsible for obtaining this permit. Call your local government offices to find out their permit and false alarm policies.